Hi there, I'm Eddie. Thanks for practicing yoga with me today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give my video a thumbs up. Thank you. Welcome everybody. Thank you so much for coming to yoga today. If you happen to be new to this class, my name is Eddie and I'd like to welcome, to, welcome you to our community. It's a lovely group of people that practices together. And uh, first thing that I wanna say is that you get to go at your own pace. These classes are intended to be for mixed levels. And sometimes there's things that are gonna be a little challenging for you. Maybe sometimes there's things that'll feel like they're a little light for you. All you have to do is modify appropriately. And if you've never done yoga before and you don't know how to modify, just stop for a while. Sit down, come to your hands and knees, lie down on your back, and then join again when you feel like we're doing something that you can do uh, you know with a sense of ease and keep your breath going the whole time that's really important you got to breathe <clears throat> excuse me you've got to breathe when you're practicing yoga so welcome to everybody let's have a really nice practice this morning the theme that I want to put out the theme that's been in my head for the past couple of hours is the space between that's what we're going to call this class the space between and in particular what I'm talking about is the space between your thoughts. That's where we're diving today. We're looking for the space between our thoughts. If you think about like this room that I'm sitting in right now, there's so much more negative space than there is positive space. Positive space being me, this little sofa bed, this little cabinet, that little stool there. There's so much more space around than the physicalness that is sitting inside of it. And it's the same with our thoughts. If we can get past that kind of attraction or obsession on a particular thought and just step back and try and feel the space that's between our thoughts, it actually lets us move into an arena that is so much more vast and so much more peaceful. Now, how do we get to the space between our thoughts? The easiest way is to explore the space between your breath meaning you inhale, you exhale, and if you allow for a little pause, and we'll, we'll play with this today as we go through our class, if you allow for a little pause between your breaths, might be one second, it might be five seconds, if you allow for that pause, you start to move into this empty space between your thoughts, and just let that peace start to open up, okay? So we're looking for the space between our thoughts today. Bring your hands together. Our practice, our physical practice, our breath practice, it's all going to help us find that place of just really, really expansive peace that's within you. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a slow, deep breath in. Hold it for just a moment. And exhale. Good, let's do it again. Inhale, hold it. Nice, exhale your breath out, please. And again, inhale deeply. Hold that breath, even holding between the inhale and exhale like we're doing now can be good to just help you push the thoughts aside. Exhale all of your breath out. Let's chant the mantra Om. Together, take a slow deep breath in. Oh, and again, inhale. Oh, one more time, inhale. Excuse me. Take a nice deep breath in and out. Now we're going to start from a sitting position today. So I'm going to turn and face the front. You're probably already facing the front. Go ahead and just walk your hands forward. And let's just take a couple of nice deep breaths in and out. I want you to feel your breath flow up your spine. Inhale. And exhale and just let it go. And inhale deeply. It's like a rolling pin. It moves up your back. And exhale, just flattens you out. Inhale, the rolling pin goes up your back. Exhale, the iron comes down and just presses you. Now let's do three or four more of those. Inhale deeply. 
Exhale completely, and at the end of your exhale, sit empty for a moment. Just a moment. And then inhale again. Now feel into that doorway. Exhale. All the breath leaves you. And then just relax. No breath. Inhale. Two more of these. I'm walking forward. Exhale it out. I'm as deep as I can be in this pose. Going to pause. Inhale. And exhale. Good. And a little pause, little pause. Nice. Inhale. Go ahead and sit yourself all the way back up, everybody. Take your hands. Interlace your fingers there. I want you to reach your hands up to the ceiling. Now, what I've done is taken my palms and turned them so that the palms are flat up to the sky or up to the ceiling. And let's just take a couple breaths like this for a moment. Take a nice deep breath in and deep breath out. Now, you can lengthen that exhale. We're going to be focusing on exhale today. And we're going to be focusing on just that moment of turnaround when all the breath is out of your body. It's like you're peeking through a doorway. Inhale. Now go ahead and take your right arm. You're going to go out to the side. Your left arm is going to reach over your ear. Same thing. Just breathing deeply in and out. You know, if you think of our solar system, we've got what? Well, now what are we at? We used to be at nine planets. Now I think we're at eight planets, and Pluto is no longer a planet. But nonetheless, you've got these big balls of mass, and then you've got millions of miles of space, emptiness in between them. Far more space in the solar system than there is matter. Let's go to the other side. And what I'm suggesting is that if you'll look for the doorway between your thoughts, between your breaths, you'll start to feel that there really is a lot of space in your own mind as well. And in that space is freedom. In that space is peace. In that space is a reset. Ah. Good, come on all the way up. Let's take a little twist. Mm. Good, let's twist it the other way. Just some gentle little warm ups here. And then we're going to take a couple breaths together and we'll move on into the more physical part of our practice. So I'd like you to just come back to your, excuse me, come back to your seated position. Open your hands up on your knees. Join your thumb and first finger and just sit up tall as you can for a moment. We're gonna do this for the next one to two minutes. Here's what I want you to focus on. First, just notice, do you have a lot of thoughts in your mind right now? Do you have a particular emotion or coloring that's very strong in your mind right now? or not, it's okay, either way. Just notice what is, and now do this breath with me. Inhale slowly. Exhale out your mouth, make it a foggy sound. Go At the end of that exhale, just keep your mouth open maybe for three to five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, inhale. Feel your breath leaving you, exhale. Feel your tension leaving you, feel worries leaving you. Hold your breath out and look through the doorway. Feel that open space. Let's do three more rounds, inhale. Exhale it all out, worries, tensions, concerns, to-do lists. Keep your mouth open, be empty, two, three, feel the space, five, inhale. Exhale.
Hold it out. Feel silence. Last one. Inhale. And out your mouth. And empty. Good. Now let your breath adjust. Notice how easy that was and try and feel the space in your mind. Just a few stretches, a few breaths. That's all we've done so far. We're going to move into it deeper now. Let's open our eyes up. Come on forward and you'll come onto your hands and your knees to begin. This is so easy. Yoga does not have to be some big complicated thing. Yes, some of the poses will be challenging for you, but what we're doing is very easy. Inhale, lift your chin and your chest up. We're moving between our thoughts. Exhale, we're moving into the space. Exhale, pull it back to child's pose. Let's do that a few times. Inhale forward. Exhale, round and go all the way back. All the way back. When you get to child's pose, pause for about two seconds. One, two. Inhale. Exhale, round it, take it back. And one, two. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. And exhale. Take it all the way back. Very, very good. Inhale, come forward. Let's take our first downward facing dog. So hips go up and back. Now, some of you might be new to downward facing dog. If you want to look at me for a second, you can. Downward facing dog looks like an equilateral triangle from the side, basically. You want to make the highest point, your hips, your tailbone, your sitting bones. Right now, I'm just walking in place a little bit, I'm just warming up my legs, shake out the head a little bit. Mm. And we got some things that are actually really quite nice. We got some ways to get into deeper, you know, deeper into our body. Here's one thing that we can do to get a little deeper into our shoulders if you want. Take both of your knees and bend them. Stand up on your tiptoes for a moment. Keep on breathing. Stand high, high, like you're wearing really high heeled shoes. And then push your chest through as deep as you can, moving your chest towards your thighs. Try that for three or four breaths. Shake out your head. If it's too deep, obviously don't do it. Keeping those knees bent, standing on your tiptoes, dropping your chest through. And one more time. Inhale. Very good. Exhale. Drop down onto your knees for a moment. Push your hips back to child's pose. Take your upper body. Your arms are going to walk to the right. They're going to walk off your mat. Your head is going to hang right in between your arms there. Then feel that exhalation. Get it all out of your body. And then just a second or two of pause. Let your neck tension go. Let your head fall. Let's go to the second side. Couple breaths. Allowing for the pause. Allowing for the release. This is good. Let's take one more here. And then we're going to come on all the way back up onto our hands and our knees. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different. It's going to be a downward facing dog. We may keep our knees a little bit bent if we want. Let's get into downward facing dog. If you remember the breathing exercise that we did at the beginning a couple minutes ago, we're going to do that right now. So you're going to have to take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale everything through your mouth. When you're empty, 
Hold your breath out for a moment and pull your belly button back. You'll feel a little scoop in your gut. And then again, inhale. We're doing it three more times. Inhale. Exhale all your breath out. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Pull your belly back. Feel that space. Inhale. Exhale. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Pause. Last round. You can do it. Inhale, stay with me. Out through your mouth. Hold it out for just a moment. Take your breath in and exhale, walk your hands back. You're gonna be standing in a forward bend all the way at the back of your mat. Now take your hands, put them on the fronts of your shins. Maybe you're touching the floor if you're very flexible. Maybe your knees are bent. Inhale, look to the front. So you push against your shins, exhale, fold to your legs. Really push that breath out through the nose or the mouth. I don't care, get it out. And do it again, inhale. Exhale, fold it in all the way, all the way. Get your breath out. Pause for one second. Inhale, open. Let's do it two more times. Exhale, all the way out. Really pressing, pressing, pressing it out. Last time. And get it out. Now, I'd like you to hold that forward bend for five more breaths, just long, deep, normal, smooth breaths. If you want to take your hands around your elbows, you can. If you want to put them around your ankles, you can. Hands on the floor. Whatever you like. Let your head go. Good. You can think of the atoms that make up all of the physical world, they have that really, really dense nucleus, and then they have the electrons spinning around them. It's like a little sun. There's dense matter, there's the planets orbiting around it, but there's far more space than there is density. Even our physical body, it's actually more space than it is density when you look at it on the atomic level. We're full of space. Full of space. Take one more. Now, because we've been down for a while, we're gonna come out of this a little bit differently. Bend your knees. I don't want you to get lightheaded. Put your hands on your thighs just above your knees. So you're supporting yourself with your arms. Maybe you can see I have my fingers turned so they're pointing in towards one another. This is like a cat cow. I'm gonna inhale, lift my chest. Exhale, round my back. My knees are staying bent the whole time. Do it again, inhale. Let's breathe out through the mouth, go. Hold it out for a moment, just a second. Inhale. Exhale, get it all out. And one more time, inhale. Exhale, get it all out. Hold it out for just a moment. And inhale, stand yourself all the way up. Now you might be lightheaded, so look at a point. Squeeze your legs. Squeeze your legs, point your fingers down, and just really lift your spine up tall. Lift the crown of your head up super, super high. This is great. Let's take ourselves, bring ourselves forward all the way to the front of your mat. Take your hands, bring them together at your heart. Before we move on, Close your eyes, look within yourself, and see if you can start to tap into now the space of your being, the space between your thoughts, the spaciousness on the atomic level of your being, the energetic level of your being, vibrating energy 
lots of space. Let's open our eyes up. Inhale, reach your hands all the way to the ceiling. Exhale, please go forward and down. So what we're gonna do is look to the front, take our left foot, step it back, and drop the left knee down onto the ground. We're gonna start in a low lunge here. So I'm just gonna take five breaths. I wanna really drop that back leg far behind me, open the chest, give it a little back bend. Mm. Let's take one more inhale here, please. And exhale, put your hands down on the ground. Give me a hamstring stretch for a second. Pull your hips back. You all know I love this little sequence on Monday mornings. Get those hamstrings open. Relax your head. I've lifted my toes. I'm pulling my hips back. Let's give it about three or four more deep breaths. I have this image in my mind of when a wave crashes on the shore and it kind of rides up the shore, it rides up the beach as far as it can go. And then all of a sudden the suction happens and it's pulled back out. The exhale is kind of like crashing on the shore, moving forward, pausing. And then that inhale pulls back into you. Let's come out of that. From here, you're going to take your back foot, step it forward, open yourself, inhale. And exhale, let's switch the sides. Keep your left foot forward, get your right knee back. Take those hands, reach them all the way up above you. Let's do about five breaths here. Get it out, get it out. Inhale deeply. Exhale, empty yourself. Try and feel the space. Take a breath in. And like the wave crashing, come forward. Pull back. Take your deep breath. Exhale, roll forward. Just like that wave rolling forward onto the beach. Pause for a moment and then feel the suction. Inhale back. And exhale forward through your spine, across your back. And the inhale draws back. So that's giving me this feeling of circular kind of energy. The inhale pulling back, the exhale pushing forward, and just kind of that circulation through the body. Let's go from here into downward facing dog. So step yourself back here in downward dog. We haven't done our back bend sequence yet, so let's start it now. Come forward into your plank pose. You could always put your knees on the ground. Let's hold this for five breaths. So I'm at the top of my push up and I'm squeezing. Yes, I am. I'm squeezing my chest. I'm squeezing my arms. I'm squeezing my thighs. How about about two more breaths? Anyone can do it because anyone can modify it. Take a deep breath in. Let's bring it all the way down onto our stomach. Now, first thing I always do is I got to get the belly long. So I reach the belly forward. My hands are right under my shoulders. Elbows are into the side. Lift the chest up nice and high. Exhale, come on down. And inhale, lift the chest up high. So it's a cobra pose. Come up and exhale down. You can think of it like the swells in the water. Inhale, the swell rises. Exhale, it rolls forward. Let's do it two more times. Up and down. Gives a little arm workout too. That's kind of nice. Take a deep breath in. Come on up and now stay for a moment. Find a good place. I want bent elbows. Want a nice open chest. This is good. Take one more inhale and exhale. Bring yourself down. And again, if you can move through downward facing dog, push yourself up and all the way back. I want to take the right leg lifted high up to the ceiling. If you can't comfortably do that, put your left knee on the ground. 
Otherwise, your right leg is high up to the ceiling. Just hold it up. Ah, so good. Take your breath here. We're going to get that right foot forward now. Exhale, step it all the way up between your hands. If it doesn't make it, of course, you grab your ankle and you step it forward or you get there however you can. Take your left foot, spin it flat on the ground. Now, let's get up into a warrior one and kind of acknowledge how warrior one is similar to that lunge we did earlier. Front knee's in a very similar position. Back leg is a little different, right? But I'm trying to rotate the left hip forward. See if you can feel that. Right here, my left hip is closer to the camera. I'm trying to twist it forward, keeping my back foot strong and flat into the ground. Open your chest, add that back bend. Just like we did before, add that back bend. Take one more, and now exhale. Come on right down over your leg. Begin to straighten your front leg. I'm going to make a little adjustment. I'm going to take my back foot maybe two or three feet. I'm sorry, two or three inches closer. I'm going to turn that back foot in and bow over the leg. Now, you could take your hands on blocks. That would be good. If you don't need them, keep your hands on the floor. Again, you're going for this circular feeling. When you inhale, imagine you're inhaling up your right leg, up to your hip, and as you exhale, you're exhaling down over your back, over your head, right down to your foot again. Inhale up the leg. Exhale over the back. It'll produce a sense of length. Inhale up the leg. Exhale down the back. We're going to keep that left hand on the floor now. Just a slight modification. Of course, you can put your left hand on a block too. Taking your right hand, we're going up to the sky. And we're twisting. And just twisting into it. Nice and deep. About three more. Last one, inhale, and you're gonna put your hand down. Step yourself back. How about we go through the push-up cycle? Now this time I might go a little deeper. I'm gonna hover and come into my upward dog. But you could go right back to your cobra or you could leave it off. Let's go to the second side. We're gonna take that left leg. It's gonna come all the way up to the ceiling, rolling your hip open. We're just having a good time. We're taking it easy. We're exploring the space. We're letting our mind chill out a little bit. If you take it too seriously, you stop having fun. Take one more, inhale, exhale, take that left foot forward. So I can't encourage you enough. Be lighthearted when you're practicing. Be easy. Take your hands, come on up to the ceiling, sink your front knee. This is your chance to express yourself through your physical movement in your body and your breath. No one's looking at you, no one's judging you. There aren't even any mirrors probably that you're looking into. So how does it feel from the inside out? Can you add a back bend? Does that feel good to you? Can you rotate your right hip forward? Do you bring your hands to your heart? Does that feel better to you? I don't care. I want you to feel good. Take one or two more. Get it nice and open. Oh, we'll take our last one here, please. And then I'm going to do the same thing I did forward, bowing over that front leg. I'm going to straighten the leg, but my back foot does have to come forward anywhere from maybe two, maybe three, six inches, something like that. And I'm really turning my back foot in. That allows my hips to square and start to fold over the leg. Maybe you're using your blocks. The inhale feels like it's sucking back. It sucks back from the heel up the leg. The exhale, ah, right over you. Inhale draws back. Exhale, right over you. Hmm. 
Okay, how about finishing it with that twist? You want to put your hand down on a block or on the floor. Take your left hand, go up to the ceiling. Now, maybe you can explore the way it feels like the breath is moving now through your body. The exhale is probably going to have a real spiral feeling. That's where the twist is on the exhale. Let that breath spiral through your spine. That inhale, I really feel it moving through the spine for length, coming out my head on the inhale. And exhale, I feel the spiral. Good. And slowly release your hand down. Very nice. Let's take our back foot, step it to the front of the mat this time. Open yourself up and exhale, fold all the way down. Our arms are going to come out and inhale to the top. Ah, and releasing your hands down. So when you're breathing, I want you to really be exploring the currents of your breath. How do you feel like the breath moves through your body? Go ahead and close your eyes right now. Stand up really tall. And take a couple breaths in and out and ask yourself, how does inhale feel? What direction is inhale traveling in me? What direction is exhale traveling in me? Can I feel an energetic difference between an inhale and an exhale in my body? Does the tingle feel the same? Does the tingle feel different? And then as I relax my breathing now, as I relax my breathing, can I just feel the space inside myself, almost as if I'm a hologram. I'm just composed of light. I'm not composed of dense matter. I'm just composed of light. Does that feel good? Is that a good way to start your week? Ah, open your eyes up, everybody. Go ahead. Let's take our feet, turn them to the side. So I took a big step back with my left foot. That way I'm facing the camera, but it really doesn't matter which direction you turn your feet. Just have your feet turn parallel and to the side. And then if you're feeling tight, the best thing you can do here is just bend your knees a little bit. We're going to take our hands in or lace them behind our back. That's if your shoulders are good and open. If they're not, you'll slide your hands down your legs, and that's fine too. I'm going to fold take my hands and let them lift up off my back. Once again, you can always just let your hands slide down, grab your ankles, whatever you like. And we're gonna take about five breaths right here. Now I will say, if you can imagine it, the inhale, your breath travels up the back of your legs, the exhale, like a waterfall, it spills over your back, down through your head towards the ground. And then for the last three breaths, whatever variation you're doing, at the end of your exhale, try and just stop breathing for one moment. It might be one second, might be three seconds. And then inhale again. And exhale it out. And pause it. Take one last round at your own pace. Okay, let's take our hands, place them down on the ground. You might be a little lightheaded right now. Straighten your arms, lift yourself up. So I'm just coming up to a flat back. Okay, my arms are straight. I might have to put fingers on the uh, blocks if I don't have uh, the flexibility, or I might have to bend my knees. That's totally fine. Now, let's say you take your right hand and you put it right underneath your face. Take your right hand and put it underneath your face. Let's take your left hand and reach it up to the ceiling. That would be a starting point. That would be a good place to start. But you could maybe also take your right hand and walk closer to your left foot. That would be a little bit deeper. So what do you want to do? Find your twist. If you don't like that arm up to the ceiling, wrap it behind the back. That's just as good. And last one in, everybody. 
and then we're going to come right back to the center. I'm just going to have you put your left hand underneath your face. That would be your starting point. Left hand under your face and the right hand would go up to the ceiling. But if you could go a little bit deeper, you might take that hand and bring it over towards your right foot. Maybe wrap the arm behind your back. And one more breath. And slowly come on all the way back through the center. Last thing we're going to do here, turn your feet outward. So heels turn in. Elbows are going to press against the inner thighs. And we're just going to take a little squat, spread those legs wide. And breathe here. Again, can you feel what is the impact of inhale? What is the impact of exhale? This is more subtle work. It's more energetic work. Let's take one more. Can you feel the qualities of the different sides of the breath? Inhale, come on all the way up. Whew, that's really good. Really, really good. Bring your feet back together and come down right where you are you can face forward if you like but come down cross your legs for a moment we're going to take a slight interlude in a seated cross-legged position okay so right here open your hands up on your knees you're going to do five breaths with me same way we did earlier i'm going to have you take a deep breath in through your nose open your mouth fog the mirror as you're doing it, let the tension go in your neck, in your shoulders. Get all the breath out. Now try and hold your breath out. Inhale. Look through your third eye point. All your breath out. Hold it out. Look through the third eye. That's the window to your inner being. You can really see yourself on that kind of holographic level. Inhale through your nose. Third eye point, exhale all your breath out. Sit empty. Last one. And exhale. Now, keeping your attention at your third eye point, close your mouth. Let your breath adjust to normal. We are going to do a 60-second, one-minute silent break. As you're doing this break, feel how your breath is almost non-existent. You don't need to breathe. Feel how shallow your breath has become. Really look into the pause. Take a breath in and out. So you see how quiet and how deep you can go? What an excellent meditator you are. It doesn't take a lot of experience. It doesn't take a ton of expertise. Just an awareness of what you're doing and how to look for that space, how to feel that space. Breath is incredibly helpful on the journey to a nice deep meditation. Now we're going to stay in some forward bending. I'm going to have you take both of your legs forward, okay? Now, the I'm pulling my flesh out so that I'm on the front of my bones. And this leg I'm tapping, that's my left leg. That's the closest to the camera. So I'm going to bend that leg first so you can see. I'm going to drop the left knee out to the side. 
my right leg is straight. Some of you are tighter, you might have to bend your knees, you might have to use straps. Now let's take our hands and reach them up to the sky for just a moment. See if you can bring your palms together and cross your thumbs. If that's too intense in your shoulders, take your arms out or even take your arms wide. But just give me the height first. I'm pressing my right leg into the ground as much as I can. I'm pressing my left leg, left foot into my right thigh. And now with that length, I'm gonna extend. <sighs> All the breath out and come forward. Here's how I'd like you to think about the pattern of your breath for this pose. When you inhale, I'd like it to move like it's rolling up your belly underneath your breastbone. When you exhale, I'd like you to feel like it's kind of rolling, the rolling pin up your back. So the inhale pulls you forward and the exhale presses you flat. Do about four or five more and now add the pause if you can at the end of your exhale and just be in that empty space. Let's go to the second side. Come on all the way up, everybody. Take your left leg, bring it forward. Now just notice how peaceful you're starting to feel. Notice the space that we're moving into. Again, there's that word, inhale, take your hands up. Moving into that peaceful space. You may have a lot of things going on today, but why don't you start it from a peaceful space? Or you may not have a lot going on today. Let that be an opportunity to just stay in the peaceful space. This is setting it up right now. Whatever you've got for the rest of your day, set it up now. Inhale up the front, catch it under the breastbone, pull forward. Exhale. Flatten it out. Good. Inhale, bring yourself all the way back up. Let's do one thing before we come into the next forward bend. Let's bend our knees, put the feet flat down on the ground like this. So we'll do a table pose. You're gonna take your hands, you're gonna bring them behind your back, let your fingers point in towards you. I think most of us know this. We're gonna be careful in the shoulders if we have any issues going on because you do recline and that puts a very, very deep stretch in your shoulder. Elbows squeeze towards one another. That's deepening the shoulder stretch and then hips can rise. Now stop where you need to, or go as high as you can. Maybe even let your head go back, if that feels comfortable to you. Take about three more breaths. Good, and slowly bring yourself all the way down. If you happened to come to class yesterday, we did this pose. We're gonna do it again today. So I'm gonna take the flesh once again. When I get down, I wanna get my buns out so that I can feel the sitting bones underneath me, the front edge. It's already tilting me forward. As we come forward over the legs. You might have to bend your knees if you're tighter. We're gonna take about a half a minute here. I'm really going to ask you to try and move into no thought. When you exhale, pause your breath.
Good. Inhale, slowly bring yourself up. So this was the twist that we did yesterday. I really love it. So let's do it again. We're going to start by bending the left knee. Again, this is the, for me, it's the leg closest to the camera. You do your left knee as well. Bend your left knee and you'll start on the heel with the toes up. I'm going to take my right hand, turn that right hand so it's thumb down. And then I'm going to grab the baby toe side of the foot. Thumb down, grabbing the baby toe side of the foot. Now from here, I'm going to slowly take the left arm back and up. That would be my starting point, trying to create this diagonal line. But if you can go a little bit deeper, what you're going to do is straighten your leg forward and then take the left arm up to the diagonal line. So any of those variations are just fine. And those of you that want to go even more, pull on your foot, lean back. Try and bring your spine up to straight up and down. Arms are going to go straight across. Maybe I'll pull the left leg across a little bit. Mm, this is a wonderful pose. I love it. You might have to bend your knee to do it, but enjoy. Take one more breath. And then slowly come on down. Let's go to the second side. So same thing. Now I'll bend the right knee. The left hand is going to go thumbs down. Catch the little toe side of the foot. The right hand is going to come behind us. And, oh, I'm sorry. First, you're going to take the right arm up to the ceiling. My bad. Get that diagonal line. Maybe you're going to extend your leg forward, taking your right hand up. Get that good twist there. If you're going to come into that balance, pull back on your foot. Lean back until the leg is up. You're looking for a straight spine. You're trying to feel a straight spine. Right arm is back, and we're twisting. Very good. Take one more, and exhale. Come on all the way down. Now, if you like to rock on your spine, let's do that now. If you don't like to rock on your spine, then just come onto your back and pull your knees in. But if you're going to rock with me a couple times, go back and forward. It's inhale back and it's exhale forward. And then you sing, I want to rock with you all night. One more time. And exhale. Go ahead and release onto your back, everybody. Really good. Let's take a happy baby pose on our back. So what am I going to do? I'm going to reach between my knees grab my big toes or even grab the little toe side of my feet and the soles of the feet are going to come up to the ceiling and the knees are going to be bent. Now you can roll a little bit side to side and massage your back if you want. You can rock back and forth just a little bit if that feels good to you. Just kind of find a good neutral place where you can be right in the middle. Ah. <sighs> Do it for me a few times. You're going to take a good full breath in. When you exhale, get it all out. Pull your knees down. And then just be empty for a moment. And do it again. Inhale. And get it all out. And be empty for a moment. One more time. That's so good. Put your feet down on the ground. Take your right thigh, please. Cross it on top of your left thigh. Now I'm doing a deep cross. I'm not doing like ankle on the knee. I'm crossing my right thigh directly on top of my left thigh, crossing kind of above the knee. I'm going to pull those knees in for a second. Just give it a good squeeze. Now, I call this one handlebars. You're going to reach forward and try and grab your ankles. This one can be tough. So if you have to, just keep holding on to the shins. But if you can, you grab those ankles, flex your feet, meaning toes back, heels away. Start to lift those feet up. This becomes a really deep like sensation of a drill going into the hips. At least that's how I feel it. Like a drill going right into the side of your hips. Pull it open. Shoulders back. If you have very, very tight hips, this may not be manageable for you. Make a modification. Take one more. Good. Now from here, listen up. 
Go ahead and put your left foot down on the ground. Keep your right thigh crossed on top of your left thigh. As soon as my left foot gets on the ground, I'm gonna just pick up my hips and shift them about three inches to the right. And then both knees are gonna fall down to the left. So crossed legs, the right knee is on top of the left. And the knees have fallen to the left side. So easy. Nice, deep. Deep twist, right arm going out to the right. Someone was asking me a couple days ago, should my knee be down or should my shoulder be down? Well, let's take should out of the equation and kind of find where's your best stretch. Is it by pushing a little bit more through your shoulder, but your knee comes up, that's okay. You wanna kind of find that midpoint where you're getting a good stretch it's active both through the leg and through the shoulder. Mm, bringing it to life. Ha, 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 ha. Come on back all the way through the center. Now we gotta do those same poses on the second side. So just balance yourself out into the middle of your mat. Cross your left uh, thigh on top of your right thigh. and. Maybe you're gonna pull the shins in. That might be enough for you, simply just pulling the shins in. But if you can, go ahead and grab your ankles. So it's that right hand grabbing the left ankle, the left hand is grabbing the right ankle, and here we try and flex the feet. Ooh, this is my tighter side, so I'll do my best with it. You may feel that too. Or maybe last side was your tighter side, so you're really enjoying this one. Pull it in. Space between thoughts. You should feel how your mind now is so open. So open. Go ahead and put your right foot down on the ground. <sighs> Maybe all the things that you think you know aren't quite as close to the surface. And that leaves you with a new perspective, a new fresh perspective. So my right foot is on the ground. I'm gonna pick up my hips, shift them a little bit to the left, maybe three inches, and then drop both knees down to the right side. Of course, with those crossed legs, it makes for a deeper twist. You can always uncross your legs if you need to. Mm. Mm. Remember, you're trying to get your shoulder towards the floor, your knee towards the floor. Neither may touch, that's fine. Just work that opposition and bringing yourself all the way back to the center. How about this? Get your knees bent, put your feet flat on the floor. First, take your hips up to the ceiling, maybe about five breaths in bridge pose, just interlacing your hands beneath your body. Oh, get that nice big back bend. Open your chest. Very good. I'm going to slowly roll myself down. Now here's the last one of the day. Take your hands, reach them back behind you. You can always bend your elbows. Just get your arms kind of overhead. And we all know this exercise. This incorporates the same idea of holding the breath out and feeling the space between your breaths. Inhale, take your hips up to the ceiling. Stay up, breathe all your breath out through your mouth. Hold it out, roll it down, no breath. Pause for a moment on the ground, no breath. Inhale, lift, let's do it four times. Stay up, exhale, hold it out, roll it down, pause, inhale up, exhale it out, hold it 
it out, roll it down. Last one, here we go, inhale. Stay up, exhale. Hold it out, roll it down. And release your hands down by your side. Mm, stretch your legs away. Stay with me for Shavasana. This is going to be really good now. Because you brought yourself naturally to such a wonderful place of relaxation. I want you to really start with the mechanism of breathing. Make sure that you kind of relax the mechanism, meaning the throat needs to soften. Maybe open your jaw, stick out your tongue. And then when you bring it all back together, just let it soften. Feel your tongue falling back. Feel your upper and lower teeth separate. Don't squeeze them together. Separate the upper and lower teeth. And if you'll notice, your body is so quiet right now, your mind is so quiet that almost no breath is needed. And each time your breath leaves your body, Sit with it for as long as you comfortably can. Be empty. No breath in your body. Maybe it's five seconds. Just be empty as long as you can. Now, before you fully wake yourself up, just feel how this space that you're currently inhabiting, inhabiting is a very receptive space. When you're in the space between your thoughts, you're in a receptive space because there's no contrary energy. There's no contrary thoughts. You're just open and you're receptive to what is. Very allowing. Go ahead and wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. It's good to be in a state of allowing. This was an absolutely beautiful practice today. Come on up to sitting, everybody. Take your time if you'd like to rest more, of course. Stay on your back. Otherwise, we're going to close the class right now. When you're up to a seated position, I'm going to have you take your hands and bring them together at your heart. And let's finish with the mantra, Om. Take a slow, deep breath in. Om. Very good. Rub your hands. Make them nice and warm. Take your hands down over your head, all the way. Touch the floor. And namaste. Thanks for practicing with me today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up.